I'm just going to briefly talk about Timothy Wilkes, the dude that tried to prank rob someone and lost his life. I've always said to leave people alone. We're living in times where people are on the edge. You have no idea what someone is going through or the state of someone's mind or even if they are armed. And you think you can just walk up and say and do anything to people and then yell, it's a prank, bro. And they're supposed to laugh it off. Now, I've always had my, my thoughts regarding prank videos because I try to put myself in a position where like this one YouTuber, this black YouTuber that goes into Walmart and he harassed people. You harassing someone's mom, someone's sister, someone's woman. Or you may run up on a dude, man, and you will sexually pant or moan in his ears. And then when the guy turns around, you start backing off or you run. See, everybody's not going to laugh at your joke. Leave people alone. But what I find that's interesting about Timothy Wilkes and this alleged murder is that there is no YouTube channel unless he's got it under a different name unless YouTube removed the channel no one seems to know anything about the channel people are asking where's his channel no one knows so for him to be a popular YouTuber for him to be a well-known YouTuber, for him to be a nationally, known, a nationally known YouTuber, there's no YouTube channel. I find that quite strange. I tried to find his channel because I wanted to get an idea of the type of pranks that he did. Now, there's a prank that I watched on yesterday. And I said to myself, I said, this dude got to be careful, man, because... He's going to run up on the wrong person, and they're going to hurt him. And what he did was he was pranking these females. This was a gold digger prank. And he had this girl cancel her Uber. After she first turned him down, she had no interest in, interest in him. He goes to this, this, this sports car. She walks over, inquires about the car. He lets her get in. You want to take pictures? And she's like, of course, dreamy-eyed about the vehicle. Now she's showing him interest. He tells her to cancel her Uber. Pretends that he's going to take her home. Tells her to get out. And then he leave her stranded. Tell her to call the Uber again. And I'm like, okay, that's not cool right there because... This girl canceled her Uber thinking that he's going to take her home. Now, I fault her because at the end of the day, he's a stranger. And you should have been taught from a very young age to not get in cars with strangers. That's how girls get up, end up getting raped. That's how they end up missing because they are so dreamy eyed and fascinated and blinded by material possessions that they would actually put themselves in harm's way. But he pretended like he was giving her a ride and sometimes he'll drive them around the parking lot and then stop and tell them, you got to get out because you're a gold digger. He tell this girl to cancel her Uber. She did that thinking that he's going to take her home and, she, and he left her stranded. Told her, call her Uber. So, People got to be careful, man, when they start playing with people's emotions like that, man. You can't do that. So, but I find it quite strange that this dude has no YouTube channel. I don't, I haven't seen it. And there's a lot of people that's online asking about his YouTube channel. They want to go check this dude out. But no one seems to know. But yet he's a popular, a well-known, a national YouTuber. So I just, I, I find that quite strange. If somebody knows his channel, and I'm not talking about fake channels because you had people doing that. 
they was like, oh, I found it. Here's the channel. And then they'll put a link to their channel just to get views, <laughs> you know. So, and then plus, I don't really allow links in the comment section unless I view it first, of course, right? But I wanted to get an idea of what type of pranks this dude was doing, but yet there's no YouTube channel. That I find quite strange. Now, what if, and this may sound crazy, but what if this within itself is a prank? Now, some people may say, well, it's a pretty, pretty realistic prank because police is involved, investigations are being done, it's all on the news. Okay, well, remember this one YouTuber, this female, this black female that faked her death? There was news articles and everybody's talking about it. And then a few months later, she appears back on YouTube. So there are people that try to pay, play that, that Machiavelli <laughs> type role where you fake your own death just to get views, just to sit back and watch people sympathize and mourn and say, rest in peace and uh, just to see what people have to say about you. But again, I find it quite odd that out of everybody that died off of YouTube or everybody that committed suicide, there was always a link to their channel. This dude has no channel so far. So feedback, tell me what you think. Until next time, I'm fearless.